Hi, this is Eric Turner with EA Electro Automatic. Today's video is going to be discussing a feature called auto ranging that is common among all of our programmable DC power supplies. So what I've drawn here on the board is just a simple diagram that is going to explain a little bit about auto ranging. Now, most DC programmable power supplies work on what's called a square operating curve, meaning that you only actually get full power out of the power supply when you're at full scale voltage. So one of the challenges that engineers run up against is that as they program down in voltage, the actual current stays the same, meaning that you only get a portion of the power out of the actual power supply. Now, EA Electroautomatics power supplies work a little bit differently. This feature is called auto ranging. Now what auto ranging will actually do is as you program either up in voltage or down in voltage, the current that is available from the output of the power supply will actually increase or decrease as a function of the program voltage to maintain constant power across a wide operating range. So you can see here from this diagram, we have a, for instance, a 40 volt source um, and a 37 and a half amp output and Depending on where you program, that same 37 and a half amps stays consistent. So as you program down in voltage, again, the actual power output tends to decrease. So let's take a look at a specific example. So you have a 1500 watt power supply, whatever the model is, typically you have voltage, then available current. So for this particular model, I've selected a 40 volt, 37 and a half amp. So you can see at 1500 volt watts, 40 volts, you're getting the 37 amps. That's this point here. Now, what the challenge that engineers run up against is how often are you really programmed at 40 volts? Maybe your application is avionics, say 28 volt is a common bus voltage within, within airplanes. So you program down to 20 volts, you still maintain the same 37.5 amps, and your power supply that you bought at 1500 watts is actually only delivering 750 watts. So auto ranging is the ability to automatically offer increased or decreased current based on the actual voltage. So here, let's take a look at one of EA Electroautomatics PS908050, which is an 80 volt, 50 amp source. So here you have the same 1500 watts, 80 volts, you'd actually get 18.75 amps at the higher voltage. But at that same voltage at 40 volts, you still get the 37 and a half amps. Now here's the difference. When you get down to that same 1500 watts and you divide it by 30 volts, you're looking at a total of 50 amps. So as you can see, as you fluctuate the voltage, the power supply will automatically adjust the available output current that's available. Now take this same 1500 watts divided by 20 volts and you get 75 amps. Well, the source itself is only limited to 50 amps, so you're not gonna get 75 amps out of the source. So it's still limited to the maximum amount of current, but as you can see, you get a much wider operating range and envelope on the output of the power supply. So now let's go ahead and go out to the lab and we'll take a look at it in real time. So now we're out here in the laboratory and you can see we have that 40 volt, basically 30 amp power supply um, currently programmed up at full scale. So one of the things you'll notice is we're loading it with our EA Electroautomatic Regenerative DC Load. So you'll currently see that we're programmed at you know 40 volts, we got the 30 amps, we're pulling about 1200 watts of power. But as we start to reduce voltage down to, we mentioned the 28 volt avionics voltage. So here we're programmed at the 28 volts, you'll notice we're still getting the same 30 amps and down here, your 1200 watt power supply is only delivering 832 watts. So here we've powered up our EA Electroautomatic PS908050 1U power supply. And you'll see I have the same 40 volts, 30 amps programmed in. We're pulling 1200 watts. But what you'll notice then is as I decrease my voltage down to let's say that 28 volts, the power supply will allow me to actually deliver more current. So you can see now we're at 43 amps, still maintaining the 1200 watts. 
So now if you want to actually test and go up into even higher voltages, one of the things you'll notice is that as I increase voltage, the available current will slowly ramp down, but will maintain the full 1200 watts of the power supply. So you'll notice I'm going up and we're still maintaining that 1200 watts. And it's going to do that all the way through maximum voltage. And you'll see the corresponding current as a function of the power. So one of the things an auto ranging power supply does is not only give you more current out of a similarly powered unit, but it also allows you to plan for the future and purpose and be able to use, say, a single power supply to maybe test multiple different product lines. So as you can see, as we've varied the voltage, the available current has increased and decreased to maintain that constant power across, across a wide range of voltage. So some of the benefits that come along with that is one, of course, that you can get more current out of, a, out of a similarly powered unit, but also two, it allows you to plan for the future. So maybe your application now only requires 28 volts, so you get a 40 volt power supply, but what this does allow is that, hey, why not go to 80 volts and still be able to hit the cardinal current points that you're looking at um, and be able to plan a little bit for the future.